Hello. Oh god, it's... Yeah. Oh. Okay. It, oh, it didn't unmute for me. It's A. A. A wise dog, Amaro. Realism. Uh, we make? help. Doc Marrow, wise realism. Time for more Veen. She was technically there last time. <laughs> technically. So the chain isn't broken. Veen is still. That's not. <laughs> well, the chain isn't done. I I assume. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows why it's continuing. <laughs> Wait, we missed Wait, one? What? Shit. Where? Oh, uh, well. Hey, Wolf. <laughs> What's, uh. Hey, Wolf. Hey, Wise. <laughs> hey, Wise. Thanks for that <laughs> sub. Thank you. Eleven months. Oh my god, eleven months. Wow. Venus dress girl. Uh and oh god, yeah, the discussion on the the teen dub. <laughs> Portuguese dub sounds like a fucking trip. But yeah, sounds let's get started. Late. At least we watch the future, yes. We started late, so we should get started early. Wow, what a hollow so... ataraxia. <laughs> Afternoon. It's so hollow. She was the temple. Save her soul for a second. Oh, I should have skipped. Oh, it's just like a night moon scene that I didn't know. There won't be. <laughs> well, she technically was there in one scene. As a memory. She showed up. She showed up. On screen. Pot tiger. I guess that's just the Dean thing, is having a really good uh, saver voice actress for the dubs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we already did that scene. We already did that Are there any here? Nope. Next day. It's all on the last day. Temple. Oh god, this is the last day. Excuse Wait, the no, not temple. temple. Another thing was just the tiger uh, crisis. <laughs> Cheese? Let's excuse the key at the temple. Uh, oh. oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, afternoon. Oh, well, we can go back in the afternoon. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's... Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's so weird seeing I, I the earlier days fun. so empty. And that, yeah, that that's why I'm uh, having us, like, check through every time. Yes, there still might be some more. I stretch my back in front of a great view of the temple grounds. Now that I'm thinking about my plan, now as I'm thinking about my plans for the morning. Already seen in the house. More scenes. Oh. <laughs> oh, they need to be unlocked. Oh yeah, you gotta unlock scenes by doing scenes. To stalk a scene. Oh, hey Emian. What's up? A morning prayer or something? 
with lots of clunky noise. Here comes Neko-san from the temple gate. Good morning, Neko-san. <laughs> oh, I love the cat on the apron. <laughs> <laughs> It's just been there. It's just the little, the little Neko cat. The, the little, yeah, Neko the little cat. Neko cat, cat for Neko son. God, did I also just wake up or something? <laughs> I didn't, for the record. No alcohol either. Um, today is. There's no need to even ask. She's carrying a large case with both hands. I'd say that's about 20 kilos in beer and sake bottles. <laughs> 20 kilos? Isn't that like... That's a lot. <laughs> that's true. Hmm? 20 kilos is a lot, right? Yeah, 50 pounds. <laughs> yeah, t 20 kilos is, is 20 kilograms, right? That's... that's... Yeah, my arms would wrench out of my uh, yep. shoulder before that happened. <laughs> Did you carry all of that by yourself? Yeah? Well, it's not like there's anyone else. No way I'd get it delivered for me, either. Why'd you ask? She inclines her head. Could this actually be an everyday thing? She's sorry. Sword. Sword. Got it. I can feel it. <laughs> Neko-san. Next time you need something delivered to the temple, please let me know. It's too heavy for one person. Mm -hmm. Alright, I, I guess we're doing the writer in the living room scene. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> to get the scene. Oh. Hey, to get Kino more Kino. read. <laughs> to to get the scene, scene that's spelled with, with an I. Oh. You're as thoughtful as ever, Emian. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm a little older than I was. I'm But it's no big deal. I got used to it a long time ago. And now that I can drive right up to the bottom, it's even easier. But I'm glad to be able to get you such a good feeling. If you get a chance, I'd like to get you $10. Anyway, I'm so glad that you're so concerned. I'd love to give you a 10 yen for per hour raise if I could. I didn't think of how much that would be. See ya. It would be one cent. It'd be about one cent. <laughs> she heads towards the main building. <laughs> an extra fifteen dollars a year or so then i'll help you carry that you just need to bring to the kitchen right yeah but it's okay really well that would be easier i guess Alright, so I pick up the left handle of the beer case. What? <coughs> Throat caught. Shunga. Oh, isn't this way over 20 kilos? Neko-san, what on earth is in here? Oh, some grail mud we took from, uh, the church, Riva. Then it would be on fire, not heavy. How heavy is grail mud? I mean, you have I some with probably... you, or didn't you drink it all? <laughs> I drank it all. I guess it's pretty heavy, because it did, like, completely, like, weigh down Shiro. 
It probably would be. What do you mean? We're a liquor shop, yeah? In order of beer, sake, whiskey, brandy. Oh, and some Chinese wine. Wait, let's... I know a few tricks. I could carry up to my own weight myself. Oh, well. But yeah, if it's not balanced, it's kind of tough even for me. That is true. Yeah, yeah. Shuffling sideways, we head for the kitchen. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> why is the guest? Yeah. <laughs> you feel your sins crawling down your back. We'd probably pass for some kind of crab from afar. <gasps> the hero crab! Shiro crab. <laughs> and Neko crab. The sh Hero and Neko crab. Finally, we put it down at our destination. And I guess the beer is part of the crab as well. Or the alcohol. Yeah, it'd be the body. <laughs> They're the legs and that's the yes. body. Finally, put it down at our destination. Good work. Thanks, Emyan. どういたしまして。と、荷物これだけじゃないでしょう。お車で来たんならまだ荷台にあるんじゃないですか。You're welcome. I bet this isn't all of it, though. You still have some in the truck? うん、あるよ。これと同じのが。yeah, I do. Two more of the same. I'll help. So, is it always like this? You really should have asked Funumi san or someone from the temple to come instead. Asking the temple ain't good. Where's the house It's no good for the monks to come and try and buy alcohol, see? It's like Elliot Ness trying to drink himself into a stupor. Well, oh, not like getting yourself wasted is all right agent. either. Mm. It's a pro. <laughs> he was a prohibition agent. I see. Was that localized? Nakasan cackles. <laughs> I no, don't know. Isn't it? This place is, sure enough, subject to a prohibition of its own. <sighs> Oh, oh, like an actual. Okay, hmm. Oh. One of these days, maybe I should get Issei's approval to build a rail track or something? From the parking lot to the gate. To carry plane loads, at least. Spill the train. Railcarte, so ya cacoina. Kedo, some money so you not to a some pie cacum a cow's coming in Janai. Yeah, good luck getting Issa's approval there. <laughs> a rail car sure would be yeah. cool. Wouldn't temple visitors disapprove of stuff like that, though? If only they could do an underground one to hide it, but where would they get a cave system to be able to sneak stuff in through? All the evils of the world starts playing. <laughs> 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 
ちろん森の中に作るんです。流動寺の裏門に着くように。<笑> Of course, it would have to be in the woods. Coming up to the temple's back gate. Is that all weird caves then? Nothing down there. <laughs> wow, I like the way you think. But I think there's a rail in the road. I think there's a rail in the road. I think there's a rail in t h 精米店のおばちゃんとか助かるだろうね Oh, Shangra? Ma, Amy Anga, this that the Kurinara. Ato, it's your food, eh? Study the Nakayo Hako. It certainly seems to be quite interesting. Well, with your help, one more trip and that's it. Wait, two in one trip, even though the one was so hard. <laughs> Let's go get it done, shall we? Neo Fukuzamaku. Don't you mean two trips? So, I know. <laughs> no, one for me, one for you makes it one tr more trip. 30 kilos out of your piece of cake, right, Emian? Well, it's just a little bit of 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 a little b We're talking about a big load that needs to be carried with both hands, though. And one that needs to go up the Ryudo Temple Hysteria of Hell, too. I see. I did think that Neko san's arm strength was rather unusual for someone like her. I never thought she'd be so this athletic. This spot always makes me think of Karen. And what was that? Oh! Oh, Kuzuki! Right, I forgot whose scene this was. As they're walking back towards the main grounds, we come upon one heck of a sight behind the temple. Is he practice? Fists clashing into fists. Is he He's teaching. Two tall figures are exchanging blows, silent yet fast. Is it Rain? It can't be Rain. <coughs> Archer? Lancer? For some reason, an impossible Assassin? match is taking place in the temple's backyard. We can't oh, leave the backyard. Gate, it's not close to the gate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he can go like down the stairs a little bit, so I assume that he has like some range around the gate, but. Oh. As for Neko's son, all she can do is stare at the spectacle. Is a caster just trying to train after getting bested by Reen that one time? <laughs> I mean, caster's not tall. Oh, yeah, that's true. I was watching her after getting beat up by Reen, she's like, never again. Can't I didn't know、her. if this was the front yard. One of the participants. Of course. That's only natural. <laughs> well, it was only one battle. The fact that Kuzuki so Ichido had, <laughs> had taken on a servant barehanded remains a fact. <laughs> Look, that's it. Oh, it's that guy.、Oh, right, right. Oh, it's Raikan. Raikan, yeah. Raikan, okay. Oh, I was thinking it's kind of like a witcher or something. Well, I give up. Stopping just before hitting it may be. Your attack is as frightening as ever, so we should have done it. 
And yours are just as determined, honorable monk. So while I am stopping at the last moment, and you are doing nothing of the sort. From now on, let us continue right until the first contact to the next, shall we? Shall we? Two of them talk while straightening their clothes. One is Kuzuki, the other. There he is. Oh, morning. Didn't he, like, eviscerate your voice last time? <laughs> no, he just provided a little bit of a challenge. Because <laughs> he's loud? Because he is... The voice that I do for him is basically over-enthusiastic, like, incredibly young Boy Scout troop leader. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Shiro-kun and Neko-kun. What a rare combination. Wait, rare? What? Oh, that wasn't even there. acting. What the hell was that? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. No, compared to you two, it's exceedingly normal, if I may say so myself. Good morning, Reikan san, Kuzuki sensei. So, just now, uh, is that, um, a sparring match? Oh, no. Nothing but a mere imitation of one. A mere imitation. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going all out. So Ichiro Dono is stopping just on the verge of a hit. This humble servant of Buddha still has uh, uh, around 10 more years of rigorous training left before becoming a worthy opponent. Laughs to Rikun son, apparently enjoying himself. He totally wouldn't laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you gave him, like, a sonic voice. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> this... <laughs> the sorry definition of a big heart of person is, in fact, Issei's true older brother. <laughs><笑><笑> I'm amazed. A person that even Riku did not touch? That's a first? Would you happen to be from this temple? Yeah, this The person before you is the high priest guest, Kuzuki Suichiro Dono. In the school, I was a he belongs to the teaching staff at Chiro-kun school. So no? Choi katagi ni wa mienai kedo. Emiyan, Kuzuki san wa shitteru? Oh, to be honest, I couldn't tell. Emiyan, do you know Kuzuki san? Mochiro. Kuzuki sensei wa uchi no gendai shakai to rinri no sensei desu. History teacher and ethics teacher. Homura hara no ryoshin to iwarete imasu. Of course. Kuzuki-sensei is my modern society and ethics teacher. 
He's the one they call the heart of Hamadahara. Even Fujini relies on him. I still remember that what the fuck moment when we first saw him fight in the visual novel in Vitsune. Oh, you said what the fuck moment, and I thought you meant the what the fuck moment where he realized that he was 25. Oh, that was another one. <laughs> and then had an age crisis. Yeah. I see some yeah, of these just... terms. Yeah, out of nowhere, he just beats Saber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, Mero, for getting us back thank on track. Thank you. Track. Yes, thank you so much, Mero. We should have... Mero, we really should have listened to you about the mature content scenes. <laughs> I yeah. thought you had that on! I did too. I guess I assumed it was like censoring <laughs> yeah. all the blood or something. Hey, <laughs> Jade. <laughs> 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 uh, I see. Even Fujimura knows him. Well, <laughs> I love Neko and Fujine's relationship. It's it's amazing. Well, whatever. <laughs> My name is Hotarazuka Neko. Nice to meet you. Hotarazuka. Kuzuki Soichiro to Imas. Same here. My name is Kuzuki Soichiro. Exchange plate greetings. Oh, that... I don't know. 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 This is the first time you've met him, Neko-san? So that's right. I just saw him in a Indeed. I may have seen you around once in a while, but this would be the first time we have spoken. I will make sure to be more proactive with my greetings from now on. His dignified voice carries out a touch of regret. I see. Kuzuki Sorichiro is not the type. Damn it! No! <laughs> <laughs> I would take a shot every time if I was able to have alcohol safely. No, you would die. <laughs> Even Look, if I've you were fully healthy. It. I've been good about it. <laughs> this is the first time in a while. I see. Kusuki So no, Ichiro not. is not the type of character to make a new acquaintance himself. See? I can do it. <laughs> From his point of view, the person who came to deliver the alcohol, Neko-san, was not someone that he should be concerned with. Up until now, of course. <laughs> also, if Neko mispronounces it, since she hasn't seen him yet, that would make sense. You're quite amazing, Kuzuki-san. Rei-kun,柔道で全国大会まで行ったこともあるし... Oh, it's Mothman, isn't it? Yeah, Mothman. has gone all the way to the, a national judo competition. And even now gets invited to work as a police instructor. That's how good he is. Ridiculously good, even. Yeah! Don't you think? Wait, what? 
Hmm? Oh, Mothman. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's Lord of Noah. Tadamono de Wanai. For the name, Udega Ostemi to you. Tosa and Yatikta, Golem Mining Kumia Tetara. Don't the Mothman is never yeah, going away. So Ichiro Dono is no ordinary man. And I attempted to challenge him five years back when I came to this temple to remedy the gradual deterioration of my skill. What would have become of me, I wonder? What would have become of me, I wonder? Probably killed outright. <laughs> I'll have to become son. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing to break out in a cold sweat over, not likely, lightly joke about. Yeah. I was one of the ones who was in the first place. If I was a man, I would be a man. You give me too much credit. I am skilled in but one art. Once the no holds rule is lifted, Raycon would likely go unchallenged. No, every time I see the word once, I'm wondering how I'm probably gonna have to draw the once there. Many times. If I can't get some art in this week, it's my self imposed sword. Should you have a chance, perhaps you might have a bout with him as well, Emia. I trust it'll be good experience for you. Hi. Yes. Ah, get off. Lekan san ga kumite shite no o miru no kore ga hajimete desu yo. Itsumo wa zazen to ka zoukin gake to ka bakkari datta shi. Ah. But it really is the first time I've seen Raikan san sparring. It's always been meditation or mopping the floor or something. Ya, sore wa sumanai. Ah, uh, pardon me for that. These arts are more or less an heirloom that this humble monk happens to possess. They aren't something I could try out on a human being at a moment's notice to begin with. A special skill reserved against the dragon god, right? <laughs> hey, <笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh, yeah. That the quiz question from so long ago, we were only supposed to be able to get the, uh, Oh, We're only supposed cheated. to be able to get the alcohol now. Oh, Back in our student days, you used to have to say a lot when you got drunk, Raycoon. I should end up competing with that Fujimura fool. Should Mine I? Is... Hmm? Should I end up competing? I should I end up competing with that Fujimura fool. Mine is the capture of the... T Mine is a capture of the tiger, certain kill technique, stuff like that. Yep, Nakasan keeps uh. nodding, recollecting the nostalgic past. And now Fujine. Getting caught and instantly killed is no good. To take on the dragon god, is it? それは京都市にある。ミオン川の龍神祭に関連が。Is that related to the Mion River Dragon Festival from the local history? 龍神祭? Dragon Festival? なあ、エミアンは知らないか。Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know, Emian. Hora, Machio Nibun Suru Kawa Ardisho. 
あれミオン川って言うんだけど私らが子供の頃ぐらいまでは秋にお祭りをやってたのよ。There's a river that separates the city in two, right? That's the Mion River, where they used to have the autumn festivals around the time when I was a kid. Nandem, oh, Mukashi, and Fuyuki, or Aras, Ryujin, Samagaite, Tabino Soyoga, Koreo, Shizume, Tat, the Hanashiga, the Saw. Ilai, Ryujin, Sama, or Matsute, Nats to Aki, or Matsuri, or Yatetano. Imaja, Natsushka, Yatenaiki, don't eh? I mean, it's the fake universe. This probably actually happened. There's <laughs> someone over here, the dragon gun! <laughs> anyway, they say that long, long time ago, a dragon god laid wait to Fuyuki, and a traveling monk was able to subdue him. From then on, to appease the unruly god. We had festivals in the summer and autumn. But now only the summer one remains. Well, whatever. Oh, Ryu. <laughs> Ryu, though. We had a society. Oh, wow. Ah, so then the Ryudo temple. Could it be? Well, hey, Gil. Gil? Society. Could it be the very temple that the monk had, con had constructed? No, that old man. I wonder about that. Priest. Indeed, the teachings that have been handed down belong to a high priest and no small virtue. For that rain scene. <laughs> Hurry, let's go then. Yes, let's go. We're getting to that rain scene tonight. However, we've concluded that the temple in question had opened its gates well before said priest had appeared. The word so much. <laughs> nah, no problem. Oh, no I also like keeping a good pace up. And therein lies the problem. The egg may have come before the chicken. <laughs> I really want to get to the ream scene. Tosaka scene. <laughs> Tosaka. Huh. So the traveling monk defeated the dragon god barehanded, then settled at the Ryudo temple. Is that it? Well, even then. Kamisama and I'm sure this monk is the servant in Fico, probably. <laughs> Whichever way it was, this guy still beat a god of all by himself. I'm sure he was a virtuous monk. His po power of Buddhism unmatched, right? Yeah, totally yeah. a servant in Fico. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds like... Because, uh, this, unless that was, like, based on a real legend, like, typically, I think servants aren't really made from, like, legends that Nasu writes, right? Other than, you know, the one, specifically. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Nothing. Totally isn't there. <laughs> Nothing like that. Couldn't possibly have had anything to do with his powers. Uh, can't wait to get back to it. A good chaos. I do enjoy good chaos. To tell you the truth, 
It seems that cajolery was his trump card. Eloquence and wit is what let the traveling monk triumph over the simple-minded dragon god. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty chaotic. <laughs> Oh. It was the job well done, says Vikansan, while stroking his chin. <sighs> when I think of Chaos Girl, I think of the fishing scene. <laughs> I guess he's greatly impressed by this victory without a fight. <laughs> I hadn't heard that before. So does that mean your judo training is nothing but a hobby, Reikun? Hmm. You got to learn the Ryujin to the Taikut Shinogi to the Tera no Mono to the Tera no Mono. But... Where do you want to be the truth? I'm going to be the truth. Out of boredom. That's great. Yes. It is said that the Dragon God, having settled back into the Mion River, decided to teach it to the temple servants out of boredom. As to which part of the story is true and which one is fake, who knows? God, my writer's block really does come from media deprivation. Yep. I can, like, think of three things based on this now. <laughs> Assuming that it is indeed true, it is indeed unworthy of a servant of Buddha. Now, oh, but I have no doubt of the worldly odor present around one such as myself. <laughs> <laughs> Echoes his refreshing voice once again. So, yeah, so da yo ne. Head up to make it calls out to me. Can't argue for that, for sure. Liu doji wa mukashi kara uchi no tokui sama da shi. Kono mama ototo san mo nonbei ni shite ya te yo. Turn that AC unit on. The Buddha temple has been our best customer since long ago. Ain't gonna be long before the young one starts drinking too. Oh god, Katie, no! <laughs> My friend. I'm amused by the fact that you think that was Katie. Ah, I wonder about that. That was <laughs> you. Very cute. <laughs> Because the original joke was Peg Mothman. They say he's a bastion of abstinence. Self restraint is his way of life. Not even I could manage to corrupt him. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> レイ君も浮かうかしてらんないね。まあいいけど。そう、so the younger one is upset about it. He seems popular with the Miyama Shopping District Association too. And you, Reikun. You aren't supposed to be this carefree either. Well, whatever. Honestly, well, whatever. Just sums up Nekosan. <laughs> It's kind of her catchphrase. I love it. Ja, go to Mono Snava, Chuboni Totoketara, Atoa Yoroshku. Stoma de Moika de Kurukedo. So I don't need Hako, I don't need a little Tasca. Anyway, we'll drop your order off at the kitchen and leave the rest up to you. We'll go down one more time, and if you could unpack the boxes in the meantime, I'd appreciate it. Oh, my casarita. 
他の生臭どもに見つかる前に隠してしまおう。Right, I shall do that. Let us hide them before the other worldly monks catch wind of it. Other worldly? で、猫くん、この前の相談だが。Also, 猫くん、regarding our discussion from before. わかってます。Yeah, I know. As I said, there's one extra bottle in there. And plenty of the Devil King. Nick Gokun, I always knew I could rely on you. Your sake sure is great. Devil King is a fairly expensive brand of socha. However, s h o t c h u Oh, Lekan san, mean this car? Potera de Sono Tango, Kuchini Shate. A Tashka, I know the Hanya to the Yinja Nakata de Stake. Um. Raikan san, is it really alright to use those kinds of words in the temple? If I recall correctly, wouldn't priests usually refer to it as holy water or something like that? So, Tomo you. Ma, Komakai Kododa, Dotirani Seo. No meba Hamon to you, Mono de Monai Garane. That they do. Well, it is but a trifling matter. Either way, it is not something to be excommunicated over, after all. Now I'm just imagining Kira trying to pass Grail Mud off his holy water. Because <laughs> it would be holy water to him. <laughs> Did you just drink some? Sorry, I just. No, I, I had a hair try and crawl down my throat. Oh, well, at least I wasn't a spider. That's true. Buddy check. Rule of threes, right? It already so happened a third time. We're good now. Yeah, exactly. That's why you're good now. You're safe. Yep, that's right. The head monk himself is not known to hold drinking parties. Maybe drinking is actually their tools to distance themselves from the material world. A shortcut to enlightenment. Self inflicted damage to the use of mind altering drugs. Neko san seems to have the wrong idea about aesthetic practice. なんとそのようなもったいないことをする未熟者は我が門にはおらぬぞ猫くん。さっくり。ファイ。A novice committing such an act of sacrilege shall not be found in our temple。悟りたければおのおの勝手に悟ればよい。酒を飲むときは酒を楽しまねば罰が当たる。Those who wish to attain enlightenment shall do so at their own behest. Divine punishment awaits those who drink and do not enjoy it. My c o u n s o n becoming a monk was clearly a mistake. <laughs> Gobo, Ima no Hanashua, Jew s h o k n i a Naimitsuni s u r u m o Honorable monk, shall the contents of this conversation be kept secret from the head monk? Oh my god, Kizuki. Hmm, Takshiotoka. Shiroku Moise Niwa, right? Yes. Let us keep it a secret. Shirokun, the same goes for Issei. Shankara? Get to Kanaso Ichirodomo. 
So, how about it, Soichiro Dono? One from the surplus tonight? I do wonder if... What Soichiro is like drunk? He probably has an insane constitution. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. The other servants may be a bit fussy. What the fuck was that? It's <laughs> maybe a bit fussy. Perhaps a moon viewing on the back hills. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but there's no moon there. Only a cup. No, there is. It's a cup. Then what does the pile of corpses reach up towards? The grill. Of this hollow ataraxia. Raycon mm -hmm. Sun. By the way, all those corpses are different Shankras. Raycon Sun just casually invites Kuziki Sensei for a drink. Oh yeah, also my other theory that they're all bass. They both break my heart. <laughs> However, there's no way that Kuzuki Sensei, who even who looks even more likely to refuse the three temptations than Issei, would agree to. Come on, I know this girl. Sumanga, this now. Caster. I would not mind, but my wife, you see. Wait, why is he putting his glasses on? I'd like it to be a private one. I tend to be tense when Caster Sun is around. Sake just wouldn't flow right. I understand. We'll discuss the details later. Sky actually agreed? Shongra is Shikra. Shukra. Well then, Neko-kun. I'll do my part. Please take care of the rest. Hi, Maido! Alrighty, thank you for your patronage. Um, and see you again, Kuzuki-san. Yes. Let us part then. We're off to the games, and the two of them head for the kitchen. But Neko-san is still standing there, absent-minded, watching them leave. Neko-san, Neko-san is still standing there, Neko-san, we were going to get the rest, weren't we? Yeah, I'm going. Right, I'm going. Sorry, that guy's kind of gotten on my mind. あの人ってくずきさんのことですかうんうん。そう。まいた。めっちゃタイプ。私、ああいう人好きなんよ。ああ、I give up, he's totally my type. He's the kind of guy I like. Oh, hi. <sighs> Come again? I can just feel Castor's stare right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually a very dangerous conversation to have inside the temple. I feel like she literally would kill him or her. <laughs> She probably killed Shiro for not telling her honestly. <laughs> if it's an opportunity to kill Shiro, 
She keeps she just keeps walking as if nothing happened. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. For the time being, I should explain the situation just in case. Neko-san, Kuzuki-sensei には奥さんがいるんだ. Neko-san, Kuzuki-san is married, you know. そう言ってたね。それがどうしたん? She's... <laughs> She's so done. You didn't say that. So what? Oh, <laughs> uh, when it asks like this, I guess I have nothing to reply with. Ah, you hit up. Oh, Caster. Somebody like him would be great. Quietly drinking sake, listening to what I have to say and taking it seriously. Makes me want to crash their moon viewing party. <laughs> she laughs. なるほど. I see. That is not gonna go well. <laughs> so that's what this is. In that case, there's no problem, right? Kuzuki sensei might even get a good drinking companion out of it. Ikuyo, Emiya. Here we go, Emian. Mudabana shishitabu. Sasatto sumasenai to ne. Gotta make up for all the time we spent chatting. We head for the temple gate. For now, looks like I'll be helping Neko san for the rest of my morning. And on that note. No. <laughs> Alright. Well, time to abandon Reen. <laughs> Click the night button. So night, alright. <laughs> Click night. Come in, seal. <laughs> Sorry, Reen. And just go to sleep. Call it a day. Call it a day. And die in your sleep. <laughs> oh god. Storm yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that was going to take us like an hour. Yeah. Alright. I feel like I'm a scene. So, Karen here at the church? Karen at the church. Or is Karen at the big friend? I think that's Chandra, though. Alright. It's Karen at the church. And with that, right. it's time. Command spell acknowledged. We're doing the no and remember that this is just a, a repeat. Oh, yeah, and uh, you want me to. Uh... Oh, yeah, Shangra, yes. Yep. Angra, Shangra, mind you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I figured. I just love the line. <laughs> okay, I I'll record it. Let's not take love, too long in this though and go yes, back to plot. I, I love the uh, I love the line. She is everywhere and nowhere, just like him. Yep. The church between our minds. There it's <laughs> Literally the church between our minds. <laughs> the church between the mind of Shangar and Shira. Or Angar and Shira. <gasps> In the end, I'll go visit the church. I can't remember how many times I've dragged myself here. The rules of the four days did not apply here. I can meet and part with her however many times I wish. The two of us would eventually run out of things to talk about, though. I love Karen so much. New elements do not enter here. 
So it's only natural that it would someday fill in all of the events. I come to the church to fill the blank spaces. Oh yeah, we are going to fill a bunch of blank spaces with new. And this will be the last time. Never going to the church again. Why is that making me sad? <laughs> I won't cry. I've already cried enough today. <laughs> Visits after this one will mean very little to me. I made up a very... <sighs> Visits after this one will mean little to me. <sighs> It's not that I'm tired, when I've run out of vigor. What I need is momentum, not rest. Oh, I feel that. Let's go produce a little energy. Yeah, it was. That is a big word. Yeah. The performance was rather short this time. And there it goes. After expecting so much, it's a bit of a letdown. Not seeing as it did give me a little of the energy I was after, I guess it was fine. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Was, yep. The grinding heat in my chest feels good. Just getting over that starting um oh, it's always so hard. And usually yeah, I can't yeah. do that. And they do say it's bad for your health if you don't get angry once in a while. How oh, is that why you're sickly? Maybe. <laughs> There she is. That's Karen. <laughs> and she's already angry. <sighs> Aww. Karen is like instantly us here. <laughs> oh, Angra. Angra does not like that music. Yeah, it makes him angry. It makes the angry mango angrier. Angie Karen. Oh, I see. So he listens to the music and he becomes very Matthew. Instead of However, to Matthew. I'm not satisfied with what follows afterwards. Karen, who has finished her performance, again stands in front of me, silent. It may just be me, but she looks to be in an even worse mood than before. You could even say she's standing imposingly. Is it because we haven't visited the church in a while? Yeah. The cloudiness uh -huh. matches this church. This lighter accent. What did I miss? Rather than piercing sunlight that makes you feel alive, it is this deathly grayness that matches the church so well. The church itself has a long history. Built way before the war, it was renovated after incurring heavy damage during the Third Holy Grail War. <laughs> oh yeah. no, it is nice to have just a little injection here. Oh, church history. Plot good. Apparently the, the church design is based off of uh, a real church. Like one-to-one, -one, basically. Going there would be so surreal. Oh, was it? Was it one-to-one? -one? I didn't basically, even know that. Basically, from the outside. Okay, from the outside. From the outside. Yeah, from okay. the inside it looks totally different, I think. A person named Kotomine Rise was dispatched as a qualified candidate who was particularly familiar with the land. 
Whenever I think of Kira's dad, I just think of the girl saying you wanted to kill him yourself, didn't you? Ah. Uh. Kira yeah, like, no, he's just. What? I didn't say that out loud. How did you know? Like, <laughs> you, the only thing I think of with Risa is his, like, his death and how <laughs> that helped develop Kira. <laughs> That's the most interesting yeah, thing about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, realism. That was the. Uh... Not like a hateable character, just one that doesn't stick in your mind. So nothing. Oh, hey, Antimatter. Hey, Antimatter. Welcome. Oh, nice. Oh, we're, we're doing a plot injection. Look at Karen. A, a small plot injection to generate reins. <laughs> I think, yeah, this is the first time his uh, name ever has gotten brought up. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Also, yes, yeah, for ribbing on Zero again. <laughs> Lightly. I mean, Reese, they didn't really Just on that the, interesting. One character. Because <laughs> this whole point is to yeah. develop Kide more. Through dying. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he got refrigerated. But, yeah, like... I don't get that, but... To yeah, each their own on that. Yeah. Wait, what does that mean? But yes. I think it refrigerated. Uh, refrigerated is, uh... When a character gets killed off for someone else's, uh, character development. Oh, okay, okay. And it was, uh, specifically brought up usually because, like... That was a thing that happened to a lot of female characters in media because they yeah, that didn't is... get as much uh, plot yep. importance a lot of the time. Yep, yep, no, that happens uh, yeah, a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know the trope name for it. <laughs> ah. But H.A. Yes, H.A. I mean, we all thought, I remember back when we thought Kusuki was, like, <laughs> boring, but not in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. But now, but yes, huh? As to your character. Could <laughs> He was the father of Karen's predecessor, Kotomine Kire. Kira is behind me. I should be more concerned about that. Oh, yeah, no, in, in HA, he wasn't. But that's because he's not really a character in HA, he's just a, a background plot element. Mm -hmm. Oh, Risa, yeah, no, he died in Zero. Oh, tell me an yeah. A, Risa. He's not young. Despite his young age, performed the role of supervisor in the third Holy Grail War. No, no, the third. The third was when he was young. Oh, that was so long ago. In recognition of his achievements, he was entrusted with this church. With plenty of experience under his belt, he strove for an even better outcome in the fourth Holy Grail War but died due to unforeseen circumstances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the fifth was ten years after the fourth, which was fifty years after the third. So. I keep forgetting how it happened, because uh, it was Kenneth who just, like, rolled up and shot him. And then walked out. Yeah, Kenneth was like, well, I got my extra command spell, right? Cool. Bang. You're done. He used guns too. Like, because he's built up a. He's like the super extra mage with all the crazy magic, but now he just pulls out a gun. Because why wouldn't he? It's so efficient. Also, he didn't have his magic circuits by then. But anyway. Yeah, no, it just reminds me of how anyone can die, like, even the supervisor. 
to just a regular gunshot. Yep. He wasn't even, like, I don't think he had any abilities, right? Uh, Risa, well, you, you never really saw him do anything. Yeah. Like, anyone could have just killed him. <laughs> yeah, like, he looked like, what, 70 in the in the fourth war? So 50 years before would be like 20. But yeah. But yeah, same thing. Unforeseen, unforeseen circumstances. circumstances. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, realism. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a cool moment. But I yes. also get that. Also the really local like normal Magus, he assisted, suffered unexpected defeat. And the war ended in chaos. Guns are fast and they're unexpected. <laughs> it's the like fourth when, um... only Korea War. The battle that caused Shinto's great fire. It's like when Reen just started punching Caster. It was unexpected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And very effective. <laughs> you just wanted Kire to pull out his fucking gat. Yeah, I wanted to pull out the two uh, submachine guns that he apparently had <laughs> under his priest club. <laughs> the third one was 50 years before, roughly around the same time as the World War. And the fourth one was just as the newly modernized economy was about to stagnate. Even for Zerker, oh yeah. Wait, seriously, <laughs> people argue that? Jeez. Uh, yeah, no, like, that that doesn't solve all of them, it's just... an outside tool. Like, it's, it's the old fucking trope of the, like, if you want to kill a wizard, what do you do? You do what they don't expect, you use tools that they don't look at. Like, like it's Reen. the old happy hunter Jedi thing. Fucking and Reen versus Caster. Uh yeah, yeah, it's it's like exactly like that. Like that's a cool trope, but like Hell, guns, even in the context of the fourth fucking war, guns weren't, like, the end-all, be-all, like, they really weren't. specifically, like, he got one surprise hit barely on Kaneth. And that was Two so surprise hits on too. Kaneth. It wasn't just a gun. No, like, with the regular ones, and he only won oh, yeah, because that, of the magic yeah. bullet, but yes, mm -hmm. H.A. Yes, huh. We're so out of singing topic. I guess that's what happens when Zero comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Zero random. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it works in zero because it's the thing of using the fucking techniques to barely win out and like just tip the scales. I just we just said H A. H A. <laughs> and I just said it's always the zero ranting that gets us. <laughs> Progress the story, please. I'm sorry, was... zero. Oh. Zero fans. <laughs> like. There's a lot I like about it, but also there's a lot I don't. <laughs> I only, like, I only complain about, I only complain about you because you're much more powerful. <laughs> that is true. If, if any are watching, yeah. Like, uh. I have nothing against. I don't know about that anymore, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yes. Huh. And with the battle Imeashira was involved in half a year ago, Fuyuki's Holy Grail Wars came to an end. Up to this point, it's been 200 years. Is this yeah, I'm just I'm just going off of perceptions of like regular anime discourse that I still like fall on sometimes and let's be honest 
to seek out a lot of the time, but... Yeah, I've only met good Zero fans, so... But I've yeah, heard stories. Like... Are you showing me some Reddit posters? Yeah, they're it up right now. Yeah, yeah, like, it's it's just it's just the thing where it's annoying when the cover song gets more popular than the original. <laughs> but anyway. Yes. Huh. It's amazing how such a sacrament has been carried out until now in such a far eastern land. The tenacity of the participants that tried to reach a miracle was near fanaticism. Also, I just want to say it's Peak Zero was the two carry episodes easily. So good. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to obsession, the Holy Church and the Mages Association are not much different. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to pick Fate Go up again at some point. <laughs> Fate Go. Uh, but yeah, no, they're No, just, H.A., focus! Just, I don't know, I was talking about how the Holy Church and Mages Association aren't uh, much different. They're the now, same in different ways. Any, any big power structure is gonna have its own shitty, like, bullshit on the side. Any big power structure? The Church has executioners, structure? the Mages mm -hmm. have sealing designations, and the U.S. government has the CIA. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do it's wonder, all the though. Same. Is that place on the other side really that good? But enough of that. Uh... <laughs> I love it, Karen. All right. The other Let's side? talk about something. Wait, is it where the church is all crumbled? The Shangra side? Was that what he meant by other side? <gasps> yeah, root? I I assume it's talking about like praise, the afterlife. Praise the roots. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's Oh yeah, no, it's everyone's <laughs> the metaphors. Everyone. Everyone's got their fucking, like, shady, deniable assets. If you got enough power. Mm -hmm. No, it's definitely, like, a metaphor for that. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And that's it, bastards. Uh, but yes. Wait, what? What did I say? Wait, what? Oh god, what did I say? Yeah, I'm blanking on that too. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh, that. <laughs> Praise the root. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say that? I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't. <then. laughs> okay, then yes, you, you, yes. you did that on purpose then. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Jay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic because I gotta get a root canal. Which <laughs> that's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I actually oh, do though. <laughs> fuck. Hey, at least I can oh, make this that, joke. That was... that. Yeah, yeah, that that works, but also, oh, um, fucking, ah. <laughs> that does that does hurt. H A though, H A yes, though. Before yes. we run out of time, <laughs> <laughs> let's stop with this root. First, they can root talk. <laughs> Oh, wow. I can't believe you've done this. So what happened? I do not have a topic. I 
I will go on with our arrangement after you're done talking. Ugh. Starting from me? <laughs> okay. There's no oh, way around it. Scared. Having been outlashed in a contest of silence, it's now my job to suggest the topic of discussion. I love Karen's theme. <laughs> Unless this scene was the sword. We'll find out later. It totally isn't. But oh, I've run out answer. of things to say. Let's enjoy this scene. I really like this. Damocles unloaded. There's nothing I could chat about with her. I don't know if I have anything worth asking. <laughs> okay. Okay, Damocles reloaded. I can feel it. I feel the sword. Which sounds like a pointing fucking... down my back. <laughs> sounds like a fucking like band that did a song for the Matrix or something. It does. Also, is this the last time we're gonna talk to Karen like this? Why would I tell you and why would I know? <laughs> there's nothing on my oh, so there's nothing are. that's on my uh, come to think of it there's one matter of great interest to me you can't fake it being the faker <laughs> is something the matter yeah, so is something the matter no, I just noticed your clothes are different. I think I'd rather wear this for cosplay. You didn't wear the vestments at night, did you? <laughs> that is correct. Is there a problem? Shonger? <laughs> yeah, Shonger's just like, I like your clothes. Well, I just wondered, why would you change? <laughs> yeah, Chargers are just like neat clothes. He's just like, oh, these are a lot less fan service. What's with that? I want those clothes, please. There was really a lot different from the. <clears throat> that was really a lot different from the vestments. You're looking the part of a sister right now. You look nothing like a priest at night. That was something else. No, that was something else entirely. Those bandages. Karen. It was beyond the point where it could be overlooked just because it's also black like a cassock. Ca cassock? Hmm. <laughs> Christian clerical clothing. Are you saying that it was too light of a dress for a priest? ケソすぎるんじゃなくてイメージの問題というかあの服はちょい派手すぎないかな全体的に黒いしまるで悪役だ。あんたがずっとこういう姿だったら変な誤解をすることもなかったのに。<笑> Yes, I totally did just imagine Kine in a dress at the top. <laughs> it's not that you're too lightly dressed. It's more of a problem of your image. Those clothes, aren't they a little too gaudy? They're all black and make you look like a villain. If only you were always in your vestments. Then I wouldn't have made any awkward misunderstandings. I'm assuming the body suits are just easier to move around in, because Kida had one as well. <laughs> light first, light and darkness starts playing. I will screw that up. <laughs> light and darkness. Yep. Hmm. I thought so. Those are the clothes they wear to exercise demons. Those are the clothes they wear to exercise demons. 
It is my battle attire, so it's no surprise it would have a different vibe from the vestments. Uh, and it made me think she was Ilya. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's a combat uniform for exorcisms. Hmm. Hmm. I guess it does look pretty easy to move around in. Since you're pretty much naked. Showgirl? <laughs> in other words, you have some sort of personal opinion regarding my clothing? Shangra? More like doubts than an opinion. Sure, it is easy to move in, but it looks like that. Can you blame me for being uneasy? Whose idea was that anyway? I just love how big of a change uh, there is here with Shangra. Like, the second he walks in the church, Shangra. Yep. Such a... Uh, you can so. hear it in the VA as well. He gets angry walking up and hearing the uh, choir music. Not choir. But... Morgan, yes. Well, um... It's even more sketchy than a skimpy swimsuit. It's like absurdly arousing, I guess. <laughs> It's not easy to just say it, so I can't really explain it well, but... Vong Shangra. <laughs> Shiro would say it in the most stilted way imaginable. Shangra. <laughs> Did you forget to put on the bottom part? Oh yeah, no, this isn't full on Angra, this is Shangra still. <laughs> Shangra, the bottom part. Because it flashed to her in the call as a demonstrate that it looks like, it looks like she's just not wearing pants. I kinda, kinda. I'm glad this solution exists. Now I can cosplay. No answer. No answer. Does answer. that mean yes? <laughs> I, I love a cat. That is by design. There is no skirt to begin with. Please cease your wicked thoughts. Yeah, this woman is really reading my mind. That's right. not Shanga. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. There's no way it could be like that. You're a sister at any rate, so seduction would naturally be forbidden. Sorry. It should have been obvious. I'm like... Combat? A combat uniform like that seems pretty outrageous. So I just got curious and asked. I oh, yeah, I want to see that Karen's design for weapons. Let's look at the map. So, whose idea was that? It isn't anyone's preference. She made it? Revised herself. It's just something I picked out from the ritual clothing and revised myself. Getting ready to block Shoko. Ah, so you're the one who picked it. 
機能性を重視した結果です私に求められるものは運動性であって守りではありませんモビリティ It says a result of prioritizing functionality. What I thought was mobility, not protection. That also sounds out right for Karen, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, I thought you were going to be able to do it. I thought you were going to be able to do it. I thought you were going to be able to do it. Also, it's no surprise you'd find it. Lavishes. Lascivious. Lascivious. It was made for the purpose of seducing men to begin with. Huh? <laughs> huh? Karen? <coughs> Karen? I, I mean, am stunned. I mean, she could probably get re in with that as well. <laughs> for seducing men? Is she serious? Is that how this becomes Serene Week? What's with that? Didn't you say seduction was strictly forbidden? You're the one who said that. I haven't said anything about being prohibited. Also, it'd be so weird to have Karen and Reen meet, wouldn't it? I just realized. Because she's Kirei's daughter. <laughs> Yet Tosaka she's was the, the one who Ilya. was actually raised by Kirei. Hmm? Oh, yeah, she's she is. She's the Ilya the to Reen Shiro. The parallels. It's literally the same. Rain, like, the, the thing about Reen is just that being in her head in the prologue, she's basically written, like, on par with, like, Jiro, because, you know, Nasu rating. So, like... Oh, it's, uh, it kind of leaves the impression. Oh, that is true. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Like, Sakura. the let, yeah, let's all be 100% honest here. The real horny one there is her sister. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> though. Huh? Oh, yeah, just so, so weird for reading Karen at the conversation about Kira. Ugh. But. but... Didn't you say it was disrespectful when I thought you weren't wearing bottoms on purpose? <laughs> I swear, I'm just imagining, like, they announced an H.A. anime. Happy. It's by Dean. Oh, God. <laughs> Big guy. <laughs> what? I guess... <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's, that's what they translated Senpai as. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Oh, yes, H.A. <laughs> yes. But yes, H.A. Dancing or Hikit Kirutamina Fuko Kirukotato. Oh, should they Fuko Nugukoto at Chigaina? Putting on clothes for luring men and taking clothes off in public are different matters. Anatan on Yodeva. Marude Vatashika Roshikio no Yodeshtanade. The way you put it was as if I'm an ex exhibitionist. It seems that's the disrespect she was good, mad at. Good point, Karen. I still love her hair. From the standpoint of a man, neither seems very different. That exhibitionism certainly would be bad, as it's a crime. Haven. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> but why do you want to attract men in the first place? <laughs> Sisters are supposed to remain chaste, aren't they? Are you fine with anyone when it comes to men? 
その男性が望むのなら拒むことはありません The man wishes it. I won't refuse. I'll have the phrasing on that. Tatoeba Anatani, Joseo Abakitai to you, Kawaki Garu no Nara. So then you cotta it, Uruo Shimasho. All the phrasing, for example, if you wish, if you feel a thirst to uncover a woman, in response, I shall quench it. So then you are the Lord of this.私はあなたに暴かれるのではなく、魔に暴かれる。人間であるあなたが罪を負うことはないのです。I would be getting violated by not you, but by a demon. You, the human, would bear the weight of the crime. Would not bear the weight of the crime. Or not bear the weight of the crime. Hmm. It's interesting huh. that she says that to Angra. All the evils of the world. I mean, I think the, the you there is mostly, like, broad. I see. If you think about it, even when she's not doing anything, she's always tinged with the taint of demons. Mm, yeah. But what does that say about Ankara? And all the evils carved onto him. Even if nobody dirties their hands, she automatically gets aroused and comes anyway. <laughs> is that safe it's to masturbation say? akin to self mutilation. Apparently, it is. Are we gonna get demonetized? <laughs> no! It's, it's funny that I bring that out because. We were never monetized on YouTube, and that's like yeah. five projections, like ten years out. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just <laughs> you're just extra terrified of it because you don't understand it. <laughs> if that's her everyday routine. And of course, it wouldn't make much of a difference who her partner is. Yeah, Angra just says things. つまりなんだ、日々の祈りと大差ない同じ労働ってことか。Oh, so what you're saying is, your daily praying and being violated by men is the same kind of work? Ugh, man. Have you actually been tempting me this whole time? I'm guessing this is a scene that's, that was cut. Yes, if you so decide, then I will be your partner as well. Honto? Lucky, Tascata. Ore no Sontenagra, Betsinides. Okay, we're good. <laughs> really? <laughs> Lucky me! Because, you see, I have no desire for it, so it's all good. Uh... Oh shit, yeah. right, we have the whole. We have a whole eclipse scene to get through. Someday, not right now. Someday, sometime. Oh, Karen. <laughs> now, I'm glad, very glad that I could get by without humiliating a girl. No matter what anyone says, I'm not the slightest bit inclined to try it. 
Even if she asked me, I would want no part. But if the condition is that it can't happen unless I feel like it, there's no problem. Because it feels in my body to many of the opposite sex. Do you prefer women that are pure and innocent? Yeah. No, I'm not picky about that. So it's like pure on girl almost at this point. I'm not exactly pure Angra, but... Mostly Angra. Because she would be freaking out right now. <clears throat> if you're doing it because they want to, then why don't you just go do it all day and night and forget about being chased? You guys do have that slogan, Love Thy Neighbor. That is true. And it's the more serious show mixed with Angra. So, so this is, is the church between their minds, it? after all? <laughs> I still want to go back and find the context of that quote. <laughs> I, I don't even fully remember. I do think that my work. I do think that and my work are different. <laughs> Uh, if anything, it's in my conduct is closer to that of a prostitute. That's all the more noble. So no taika to torikaikono can kemo arukua naisa. Otakaktumate nanimonasna zutoi. Casual relationships and relationships of monetary exchange aren't bad either. Way better than being some stuck-up woman that just leaves you hanging. I suppose that makes it make more sense there. I look over the church with a glance. And yeah, like... I guess it feels a lot more <laughs> yeah, horrifying like... to me being ace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... I mean, basically, the whole thing is like. That's just a really fucking good opinion that he kind of just like realizes is too unambiguously good halfway in and has to on grid up at the end a little bit. Yeah. And there aren't any statues here. Doesn't look as if I'll be accused of slander. Well, I not anymore. Not anymore. Oh. <laughs> Do you get it? Even if you're a prostitute, like you say, there's no need to feel down over it. Which, even though I'm ace myself, yeah. I still support everyone who wants to engage in that. Yeah, sex work is just work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Angra is supports OnlyFans workers. Mm -hmm. We've been fucked over by fucking MasterCard. Getting... Oh, that was the church's fault. Or Falling to the fucking... Yeah, that's... that's That was the uh, it was literally Christian anti-porn groups. It's <laughs> Or that or a ploy to make Bitcoin actually useful? <laughs> it's not that I don't want you physically. It's an emotional problem. I may have the desire, but so long as there's no love, I don't want to get involved. Like us back to what Ankur said earlier. Pure love. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing with, like, OnlyFans, though, is, like, if Some you take it out product. of the shadows, the more, like, legal support you have for it, the safer people can be and the more you can separate it from crime. It's like how 
because weed is fucking illegal, it becomes a gateway drug because the same people selling weed want to get you hooked on cocaine and whatnot. Cocaine and whatnot. It's like, legal here in New Jersey. Now you can I guess... just go and buy it. <laughs> Nowadays, it'd be more like meth. I don't know. I don't. I don't keep up with the the hip drugs on the streets. <laughs> yeah, I've seen like. I just know here in New Jersey, you can just walk in and buy weed. I can't have it now, but yeah. I've tried it a few times. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> Although, if she keeps wandering around in front of my eyes in an outfit like that, there's no telling how things will turn out. The preferences of a normal adult male are one thing, but to me, those clothes are a little intense. I understand what you're thinking. I will keep that in mind from now on. Oh? Are we done talking about the clothes already? <laughs> oh god, that was horrifying. But he didn't... I guess that was the welcome to Angra scene. Yep. Well, the welcome to Angra scene was probably him killing that old guy. That was, yeah, that was... Oh, it wasn't him. Although if my theories are correct, then it kind of was. And if my other theories are correct, then Baz, assistant? Both theories are tragic. Yes, that is hmm. enough. I did not want to know. I did not want to know, but I do understand you now. Honto. Really? You've become quite weak, haven't you? <laughs> it's not like you look small enough to be blown away. Do you hate yourself that much? So much? Huh? Huh? The contrast change. Her outright provocation produces a burst of energy within me. What did you just see of me with those dead eyes, you? What is that? Oh my god. Oh god, yes, the use of filters in this game. Amazing. They are very good. My heart just skipped a beat there. Yeah. Why is that? I don't really hate myself. If that's your way of preaching to me, mind keeping your nose out of my business? Yeah, we were from slightly miffed Matthew to truly angry Matthew. <laughs> yeah, just a tiny bit. Just, just crack opened up there. That is my thanks for praising my clothing. Just give it up and take it. And yes, he did describe her eyes as dead. So, why is it that you do not like me? She jumps straight to the issue. Or straight to the issue? Following her lead, I blurt out. Well, Realism. I just can't stand people with no desire of their own. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. And yep. I ignore the mountain of minor flaws. Go straight for the killer one. <laughs> see? See? That is why you hate yourself? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you <laughs> She doesn't have an answer. Okay. She doesn't have any desires. Yeah, Angra just hates people world? with no desires of their own. You know, that's why it's so ironic that Angra possessed Shira. Ah. <laughs> uh, is it though? So it's so them thematically good is another word for it. <laughs> Consistent, that's the word. Because Emi is Shira, who destroyed the Holy Grail, does not desire anything in return. <laughs> ピンチンには与える献身の鏡。世界は正しくあれと祈るような在り方。それがあなたの生き方であることは間違いない。そう、<笑><笑> yeah. so, HHR really is from a fourth timeline. Or just a mix of the three. Yeah, yeah. Because events that happen in all of them that happened here. Yeah, that's he's not he's not from any time on. A model of dedication to your neighbors and neglect for yourself, as if praying for the world to to be just. That is, no doubt, your way of life. Hmm. Let's see. Nanoni. Doste kashira ne? Yeah, I wonder why. Anata wa sore o utsukushii to kanjirare nai. Why can you not feel the beauty of it? Yeah, datte. It's a long scene. It's a really long scene. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it does mean that currently all is right with the world. Like, it's like the Waffle House test. If we're still in the same scene, nothing drastic has happened. Uh. But AJ. It's not beautiful in the slightest. I mean, it makes sense, given what she does. We did, we did. The um, problem comes before even judging whether it's good or evil. I have no intention of trying to live that sort of a good-for-nothing life in the first place. <laughs> No, but he is blaming Emi Ishiro anymore. And he makes no attempt to find a desire of his own. Yeah. Yeah. The reality where everyone is safe. Say, does ordinary happiness really bore you that much? Ah, I get it. Saved everyone. My way of life is, in short, an existence where I don't have the patience to be content with that. Patience to be content it's with true. that. There's no villain to defeat. It's a hollow paradise with nothing to fight. No threats to anyone's lives. There should be as much happiness as there are lives. 
just a tiny amount is not worth the trouble, it screams. You sure put it nicely. As expected of the substitute priest, that's an irrefutable paradox. Maybe get the chance to scold me properly some other time. Oh, definitely. I, I honestly want to give this whole Vienna remade, or the plot anyway, just to like a plot only run, run after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's so much nuclear that separates everything. I'm still feeling yeah. it though. I'm still really feeling this scene. <laughs> yep, the wolves. Which, if my theory is. I mean, are, are they correct, really? I mean, they just end the. Oh, they... Uh, they just end the four days. Right? Yeah, I mean, like, if they kill everyone and then everyone's alive the next day, were they a threat to people's lives? You're like cleaners of sort that clean yeah. up the world and restart it in you. Oh, I just. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was. That's the vibe. I was getting in Gridman for a second. <laughs> It's very different, uh, but still. Yeah, yeah. AJ, though. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. I heard that they're, like, not badly written here, which means there's no point in doing them. Yeah. At right. least that's what I've heard, too. I don't think my nagging will change the sense of justice you've held for over ten years. But if you so wish, I shall attempt to persuade you once again. Trash, but not like laughably bad is what I heard. Like they're just kind of like <laughs> bad sex scenes as opposed to what the fuck is this writing? It's like I stand up. Right It's like so bad it's good versus just bad. Oh yeah. I wonder if they're well written in Japanese. Should have left earlier. As soon as the organ stopped. <laughs> Badly written. What I What I wanted was an energizing hatred. Realizing oh, my disgust my... for myself is making all of that motivation disappear. That's such a good line. <laughs> See ya. Looks like you've got other things to do. So let's end it here. She does have an apathy beam. If I go in any further, I'll be venturing outside my domain. If these four days are someone's reproduction of a Holy Grail war, then Emi Ashiro and this woman Karen cannot meet. If I keep meeting people who were not in the battle, my existence as Emi Ashiro will collapse. Having a theory and it's painful. What if Shira didn't make it? Hmm? What if Shira didn't make it at the end? <laughs> that this is the heavens feel normal end? Something like that. Except Chandra. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to make myself sad. 
<laughs> oh, probably. 31. <laughs> Wait, those, those are my news. One out, one out. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> you have not cried that few times. This wish is this. It was Bass's wish, but perhaps it was also the wish of another. <laughs> Shira, what happened? <laughs> You're going to look for the Holy Grail, aren't you? Yes. Yep, same realism. <laughs> I mean, even if this ends in a complete tragedy, We'll always have the heavens feel normal and look sadly over at Saber. <laughs> or the normal end? You mean the true end? True end, true end, true end, true end. True end! True end. Uh, 110. Or is this still just 109? Oh. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Have you discovered the way to end this world? I don't like those words. I don't want it to end. Oh, you didn't read them. But A voice rings out behind me. Happen. Even turning around is a pain. These four days keep getting more and more hollow the more we live them. Well, according to what Tosaka Rin says, it's just a matter of me defeating the holder of the grail, but... Yeah, I had that observation earlier, Wise, and it just ties into the themes even more. Makes you think that that skipping was done on purpose. The fact that we'd eventually have to skip so much. It really shows how much the world dries up when you keep living the force, same four days over and over. Yep. <sighs> this really is the hollow ataraxia. <laughs> Oh, it's so With good. With the intelligence. It is. With the intelligence I have at my disposal, it just ends with my own defeat, no matter how many times I try. Hmm. I think I know who the holder is. We <laughs> even foreshadowed how it would happen. Someone who knows Frog of Act. Who? He refused, but. <laughs> yep. versus Bass. It would seem so. Therefore, you must complete the- <gasps> <laughs> You must complete the picture. The puzzle. The puzzle. Oh, it all makes sense now. <laughs> you must discover the meaning of your existence. Has all the pieces. Wait, was it always that obvious? Meaning means self-awareness. Recognizing what it is that I must do. <laughs> the 
this woman is telling me to find that by myself without someone else telling me. Oh, we're pretty in sync with that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Key to the beginning? What? Find the enemy's strongholds. The key to the beginning should be there. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Thanks, but I've already investigated that mansion a long time ago, if that's what you're referring to. There's something you've overlooked. Go and ask the Tosaka heir about London. A straightforward piece of precise advice. Yeah, I'm imagining the green scene is unlocked after this. And yes, <laughs> Vaz is the final boss. But I already knew that. <laughs> My heart. You had all the pieces from the start, and you could see how they'd line up. I knew. I knew, she, I knew Some... it had to be her. Ever since we fought her, it was obvious. I don't want to look back. But my feet stop, and my neck turns. But I want to see you. See, that's why I didn't want to look. <laughs> We're gonna need help. That's a violation of contract. We were only supposed to exchange information. This time is an exception. It's with you go back? I said it, did I not? If you are still lost the next time you come, I shall point out the way. Did she really make Did she really make a promise like that by herself? Really? She's a woman that just does whatever she wants. I mean fuck of us Fuck of us is a good novel phantasm. Yeah. He <laughs> said fuck of us. Uh, also, I'm making another promise, and I will keep it, because I'm trying to uh, do better with that. The Shoggers emote will be done in time for the finale. <laughs> Alright. Otherwise, uh... Um, we'll devise some kind of penalty. Yes, I oh. need a punishment, because I've not drawn anything we'll devise some kind over of penalty. two months. Thank you. Shockers. Thanks. This means our business is really settled now, right? It's a very risky and difficult to use. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to be injured, basically, like, lethally injured. But like just enough so you yeah. don't die to activate it and cause like get it to cause real damage. I mean, kind of can't you activate it at, like basically any point? It's just that it's only really useful if you're near lethally injured. It's not really yeah. If you get scratched on the arm, it's not really that useful. Yeah, this, yeah. This is as close as I can get involved with Emi Ishida. Oh, the puzzle, though? <laughs> I 
leave the church. And leave the church. And Miyashiro had not met Karen or Tensia to begin with. Oh, wait, it's all on. It's always been an impossible event. I have no reason to grieve, even if this was our final farewell. <laughs> But the last piece of advice. <laughs> Three action at night. Emmy and residents decided to tell them. Give it. Oh, why is Shinji there? Why is Shinji, Shinji at his house? Why did that unlock him though? <laughs> 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 Oh god, I know, right? Free action. That's what I was thinking. Oh, I love yep, Karen yep. so much. I really hope that is What's across the, the big bridge? Oh. Yeah, yeah, oh. we've, we've got to... Oh, yeah, check we can something? always check something. Alright, next day it. We'll just start next over day? next time. Hot tiger. Plot Taika, and that's it. Afternoon? Afternoon? Yeah, yeah. Can we all... Tosaka Kosaka residence? residence? Someone it? mysterious is there? What's across the big bridge as well? There it is, that's the one. Oh, there it is. Alright. Alright, I guess that's what we'll start next oh, time with. Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what's across the big bridge, too, just out of curiosity? Oh, it's a long All right. scene, I'm assuming. We have to do it. Yeah, no, no, I assume next time. So, yeah, in that case, let's... I mean, if it's if it's Tosaka, we, we're definitely going to do it. Oh, is that the one with the line? The... <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, it's one of the longest scenes in the game. So it's going to be a whole scene. Oh, my scene. God. Okay, I think I, I think I do have some info. I'm, I'm remembering some previous things said about some things, and uh, I am mm -hmm. excited. Geef adds and buffering. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh my god, are you awesome? <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, I'm assuming the rain scene is going to be the entire stream. Probably. And it's probably going to run long. We might have to take a break. Even in, like, do two Who knows? <laughs> You're the supervisor. Uh, yeah, well, the nice thing is the points can be refunded. Always. Yep, yep. <laughs> but realism, then you'd have to th then you'd have to give points to the people who say that guns solve everything. Would you be willing to do that? Would you betray your ideals like that? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you? let's let's look at Emma's. Yeah, let's look at Emma's. <laughs> I hope we have a new Karen one. Save in title. <laughs> Karen shoot you. Oh, I'm sure it's good because it's part of the chain. Uh... Oh, I'm ready for it. It's not. It's it's technically not. The chain turned out to be a uh, very small and separate from that. But uh, yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, special. Let's let's go special. Special, it smells like a shine. And the shrine. Emma. Emma. Oh, we have two. Two new Emmas. We got time for it, so. Yes, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's end on Emmas. Whoa. Are these concept designs? 
She has this prototype shit? Oh, oh no. <laughs> cut characters. Madness. Yeah, it's the yeah. characters who did not get their and turn yeah, series. Yeah, I think. Yeah, oh, it's Perseus. Perseus. It is. Remember? You pretty. Oh, hey, Gato-kun. Oh, he actually are. Can you can you display <laughs> graphics? Can you? Ah, uh, I don't think so. I can't menu here. It's the hero Perseus Could... left. Papa Ryuzu, center, and Gato-kun, right? Oh, Gato-kun! It's the successful Shinji. Oh, yeah, no, it's yeah, interesting yeah. to see, these like, are... all sketches. These were just prototype drawings. If these were- if these were the prototype drawings, was this- Was this back when Takeuchi was doing the coloring? Oh, it might be. It might be some rare Takeuchi coloring. Uh, hmm. Gato kun you were a character with the bushy eyebrows, weren't you? You were a character with the bushy eyebrows, weren't you? You were a character with the bushy the hero of Perseus, okay. born from Zeus, and Dane, the daughter of King Argos, is the greatest weapon of Greek. Is the greatest hero the of Greek greatest. mythology. <laughs> the greatest weapon. <laughs> no, it's Shira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he he uh, gave it up to Tsukihime. Oh God. <laughs> It's going to be four streams for us. Oh, we might literally have to break up a scene. I don't want to do that, but... Talk about Rain Week. It might, that one scene might turn into Rain Week. Oh, yes, uh, but yes. You... The half-brother of Her... Did you say Hercules here? Yes. Yeah, what the fuck? The half brother of Hercules and his great grandfather as well. That lady killing king of the gods sure did make things complicated. <laughs> yeah, we can save an exit to split the scene. We've done it before, I think, in the Taro scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think there is such a connection. But it is complicated, because he was also the man who killed Medusa. Okay, this breaks in the- okay, cool. By the way, what's the name of Issei's father? <laughs> the, the name will surely be revealed when the old man Fujimura Raiga howls it across Yuki City. Ah, uh, and yeah. Congrats on uh, first full day of work, Fancy Matter. Oh yeah, I congrats. Assume. Wow. It's exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it would be. Also, congrats on the new place. That's huge. <laughs> yeah. God, I really just... I'm going to put up the fucking foam. I need to clean my room so I can put up my fucking foam and then give a good, actual, real try to being a uh, voice actor. And then after the road trip, give up and get a fucking house cleaning job, probably, because those seem to pay pretty well. Yeah, although you do, <laughs> you do have uh, quite a few uh, examples in these streams, although they're all single take. <laughs> They're all single take, and oh, none of them have the, the foam up. Oh, congrats. Oh, Ooh, wow. Nice. <laughs> it is different for everyone. It killed me, but you were fine, right? I was basically, my arm was a little sore for like a day, and, this, and then I heard like, oh no, the second dose is what really hits. My arm was less sore. Oh, fucking. 
Oh, yes. I booked it as soon as they possibly could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. Oh, fucking, yeah. I can't believe- Congrats. Wait, I'm glad that America getting the third booster shot, like, reservations didn't fuck up Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got some bite today, huh? Wow. Oh. Bite the suits. Yeah. No, I I got it as soon as possible. I got the Pfizer one. You got Pfizer too, right? I got Pfizer as well. Yeah. My mom was actually going in for a third box. Hmm. Cause immunosuppression. I'll be doing that in January. Yep, around then. Yep. So all getting them. But yeah. But yeah, we fucked. We really ammo. fucked over the rest of the world to get all the vaccines, and then people here won't even take them. Yep. <laughs> cool. Ooh. And even in the systems. Mm. Content warning. We discuss potentially upsetting topics such as eating disorders and suicide. Please don't feel obligated to watch. That kind of used to be me. A little bit still. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I basically have that as well. Mmm. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not safe for the younger people. Ah, uh, but yes, Emma. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, nice. Oh, the all the sprites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, it kind of comes with the territory of being a streamer as well. You're going to get people who hate you with, like, a ridiculous amount of, like, like, disproportionately to anything you've ever done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then it's also about, Especially like... Especially being a trans streamer. <laughs> which buttons... Which buttons you need to avoid having pressed and whether or not those buttons are pressable to people, like... Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> also, yike! <laughs> the, uh, the, the vaccine test uh, candidate. Strong... Yeah. Wait, Strong. you're like far away or something? Happy to be what Saber likes about. Hello? Oh. oh yeah, yeah, I was just uh I was just uh Sonic? doing warm ups with the with the game. Oh bone. Hotsaru Saka Neko left. Yura Waikan middle Mitsuri Minori right. Yeah, now I can press the strong hands. Clone. I mean, shouldn't an archer work from far away? <laughs> They're only extras, but they right. have quite a presence. Extra? <laughs> Zero. Ryudo Ray. Raycon! Fuck! <gasps> oh! Oh, it's because it's in there. Oh, God. <laughs> Raycon. Regarding Mr. Raycon's name, the I and Issei means one. 
So he's Issei's older brother. Why not go for the number earlier and call him Miyoto Zero? Right. That's the reason. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. <laughs> Other red sauce. Other red sauce. <laughs> God, the the like. Two thousand five was a different fucking world. Two thousand five in Japan, like there weren't all of these feet jokes yet. They're all in their uniforms, so I suppose we should focus on the feet. <laughs> oh, we voted out Archer, but there were two imposters among us the whole time. <laughs> yeah, Furichu wa Ashisaki wa Miyunzo. Oof. Ah. Oof. God, yeah. No, I feel that. So much. I used to think my life that would... and, like, everything about me was super boring. Still kind of do, but no, also you were... Yeah, you were suppressing a shit ton about yourself and you still weren't boring. The most interesting but, story yeah, was no. that I ate... Uh, someone put a jalapeno in my sandwich in a car ride, and I almost had an accident because of it. Yeah, yeah, like, it's... Different fun to every person. That would fucking kill me if someone I knew, like, closer said that to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, on some level, I still think I'm boring, but <laughs> our brains. That's why it would hit. <sighs> That's why those things hit. It's yep. Things that you think about a lot. Yourself. Like, I remember I have a friend who talked about, like, oh yeah, I guess I always, like, put a ton of points into con in D&D &D because I actually, like, you know, I really don't want to die. And I guess it's because I'm afraid of dying. Me sitting over here with exclusively high charisma characters. Huh, I do that too. <laughs> oh god, I just realized that that's okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah, yeah. Realism, you you uh yeah, you can't find you don't really find things boring, so that doesn't make sense mm -hmm. that it wouldn't affect yeah, you. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. I same, wish I had same. media, yeah. Whereas for me, it was just the people around me and just a lot of nothingness. Yeah, I remember one of the I things that hit pass. me the fucking hardest was someone who is no longer a friend once told me, like, you know, God, I used to think you were so funny, and then I watched, like, Eagle Raptor stuff, and I realized that, oh, you're just copying him. And that was just, like, devastatingly just, like, oh, that's... You, but... I, wait, I mean... But you fucking... Okay. I mean, <laughs> the funny thing is, like, like, my oofs, they stole from Takahata 101. <laughs> that's where I got you from. Yeah, like, I still copy a lot from media, but, like, original thought is dead is kind of in full effect, like. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a big <laughs> part of my writer's block, too. Just like, oh, that's just the other thing, but I need to know that that's okay. Uh... But yeah, honestly, all of the things that are, like, kind of my own, but not really, have come from these streams. Yeah. Apparently yeah. that just comes from having a social life at all. <laughs> Apparently. Uh yeah, I mean like that's 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 good in theory, but like you gotta like have that like embed into your brain and like work with it. Uh 
Oh god. Jesus. Oh god. God, yeah, that's fucked. Like, Jesus Christ, come on. Like, the closest... God, the closest equivalent I have was just, like... My mom, like... Looking at her neck fad, just going like, Oh god, I hate this, it's so bad. And then me going, huh, and then going up. Looking in a mirror and seeing that I kind of have the same thing, and I'm like, Oh cool, I hate this now. I wasn't a receiver of that, but... I've witnessed it. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. Body weight shaming is. Yeah, just but like that—that that wasn't even. Yeah, but just fucking like for me, that wasn't even direct. That was like, just shit that had been embedded on her that just rubbed off onto me. <laughs> yeah, no, I've. I think I've talked about it, but there's. A few reasons why I don't eat very much. Ah, uh, yeah. Like... Oh, that's that's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, fucking... Yeah. But, like, most of my buttons just come from, like... I was... Raised obliviously in a home that was just unhappy enough to trickle down to me, but not unhappy enough for my parents to actually do anything about it. And, like, it's weird how borderline that was, but and it's still just, like, embedded itself in my brain. Oof. Oof. God. Yeah. I actually the opposite problem where my family is like, don't shave your legs. I assume was. Yeah, now. Now they're super supportive. Because they know. It just took a lot of explaining. Yeah, yeah, I got really... Yeah. I, I'm very lucky with my mom. Oof. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, like, people people can work on themselves and get better. Kind of half-similar, but complicated Divorces. environments. Divorce is certainly a life event. <laughs> Not to go too much into it, but... Oof. Oh, God, yeah, like, even after- yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because yeah, we had yeah. a plot scene today. We got really weird out of the nowhere, and I noticed during it- in the back of our head. Hmm? I didn't want to note that it was, uh, over the quote, they don't show feet during gameplay the whole time, but <laughs> I, I did notice that. But no, nah, this is, like, my guess is because of, of the plot. <laughs> it stirs up things in Yeah, us. yeah. It just stirs. Good knots of writing. Oof. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Fucking. I definitely have that, because, like, no, obviously not to that degree, but, like, my whole thing used to be, like, oh, just try and hide that you're not neurotypical. Just blend in at all costs. No. Uh, yeah. That's just that on a whole different level. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, and then, like, over the pandemic, I just realized I didn't have to hide it anymore, and... God, that changed everything. Yep. I am so glad I didn't go outside for the first, like, 20 years of my life. And the next three. 
And here's to another 23 years of not going outside. It's fucked out there. It really is. But yeah, all in all, like... My life is strange. <laughs> Very strange. Very sheltered in some ways and not <sighs> so much in others. Yeah. So I'm always trying to be and as yeah. careful as I can when I... Uh, like, analyzing other viewpoints and such. Yep. Because there's a lot of things that have in my life that other people don't. And I try and be as mindful <laughs> yeah. of that as I can. God, yeah, fucking realism. Your mom just sounds awesome. Oh yeah, your mom is so cool. You're awesome. <laughs> yeah, generational stuff. Yeah, that's a whole can of worms. <sighs> but yeah. Can of worms that I even think about we, uh, yet. Hmm? We we probably should uh, bring things. Oh yeah, it's in a second. coming to a close because. Uh... Oh. Therapy meds. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Like... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's. Oh, that's a yeah, relief. It yeah. mostly is. Like, for me, I have to be really careful because insurance will sometimes disclose details because of how I get my insurance. Oh my god, I just realized a fucking formative experience that put me off meds forever. Like, uh, not forever, but like, uh, like, for years of my life that I had to, like, undo and, like, if I can get meds now, I'll get meds, but, like, I had a fucking doctor who diagnosed me with OCD, and he's like, we need to get him onto meds. If we don't, he will never be normal. And it's like... Wow. And I assume by normal they mean uh, benefiting no society. Neurotypical acting. The, soci the neurotypical yeah. society. Yeah. We only care about you as a cog in the machine. Yup. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like... Yeah, like, if there are reasons not to get meds, those are highly individualized and, like... Yeah, no. Honestly, yeah, doctor. like... I might have been better off having meds from, like, that young age, but, like, dear fucking god, that guy put me off of it. Mm, god, <laughs> yeah. Also, if you want to, like, see stuff, go for it. But I also totally yeah, get, this like, is the time. <laughs> being nervous about it. I'm, like, always hesitant at first to open up on stream, but I like doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... Uh, yeah. It definitely takes yeah. getting the right like, therapist because, like, my first therapist was. Um, <laughs> it was mostly like. He just ended up showing me, like, videos and stuff, and we never actually worked on anything. Ah, uh, yeah. Depends on the therapist. And yeah, even just, like, not being super comfortable opening up to people, like. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like, totally fucking valid. Therapy didn't really help me until I was willing to... Until I felt like it was safe to acknowledge me, uh, what was going on with me. Yeah, yeah. Because the egg and is like, uncrackable I... when it's not safe to come out. Yep. Defense mechanisms are there for a reason. And Fuck also, yeah. I was really good at tricking all the therapists into thinking I was fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like... Oh, like, yep, Are you sure your wise, child needs therapy? Yup. <laughs> yup, yep, I, I had that so fucking bad when I was a kid. I have a problem with, like, like... telling the small lies. Still. I try and, like... <laughs> 
and fight it, but it's happened. I don't think on stream ever. Yeah, yeah, it's just, well, I mean, yeah, but like, it's not lies like, yeah, I was actually involved in, uh, in making the Pokemon movie, which oh, is something that I legitimately said to a friend when I was in like, when I was like, nine, ten. Oh, thank you, Indie Matter. Yeah. yeah. Things are looking up, I think. It's all about... But it's yeah, all about getting just... into the right environment that you can open up and then... Mm -hmm. Exit, like, properly deal with your own stuff. And also you gotta fucking deal with your own stuff and your own fucking time. Like... That's why keeping a very, like... Oh. Non-judgmental environment, like... Here and on the Discord server is very important to me as well. All I judge is judgment. Mm -hmm. And then when you like tell those lies to make yourself more interesting, like they start off small, but over the course of things, the lies get bigger and bigger, and you don't notice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a big one, Lois. That's a big one here. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Oh. Yeah. And probably inaccurate. Oftentimes, yes. I mean, for other people, yes, it is inaccurate. Like... For me, it's definitely accurate. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A hundred doctors. Yeah, for, for each one of us, obviously. We're, we're the ones with the actual... But, like, then also... Then also, I do want to point out, like, some shit that's inside of our brains are just shit, and we gotta deal with that before we can open up. Mm -hmm. I and did it's that. It's all about finding a safe environment to open up to as well. Sometimes yeah. it just isn't. Like, sometimes you just gotta figure out what you don't like about yourself, and then just work on that in the background. Until it's good enough that you don't hate it anymore. Like, I'm pretty sure if I tried to actively Fucking... talk about being trans with my past therapist, he probably would have tried to steer me away from it. Yeah. I just, like... I spent so long having people tell me, just like, No, you need to, you need to open up and you need to like every part of yourself. Same wise. I get yep. so much guilt yep. about that. <laughs> to the point where, like, I just kind of wrote off genuinely big issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's that whole fucking mindset of, like, sets, like, vegetables down on tables like children are starving in japan you need to finish you need to clean your plate it's like if only the person who has it the worst ever can ever complain about anything only angra gets to say shit like only one person <laughs> only angra angra is perfect for that uh, yeah actually, for bringing that up I mean, that said, I still, uh, you know, I still have the full, like... I mean, demonstrably, my issues are not as big as, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh... Oh, definitely anti-matter. I think figuring out that I was trans was, like, part of growing up, because I felt like that halted in high school. So I felt stunted there, and now I, I, feel, I feel like I've just grown, like four years over the past like month or not month seven months <laughs> it feels like a month since i came out on stream and yeah, it also feels yeah, like five like, years <laughs> i think i've mentioned that i've only felt like i've actually been a living breathing person with an internal word uh, world for like the past two years mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i just like <laughs> yeah. 
I'm 23 and I think there's a reason why so many people like always think I'm like 18 or 19. <laughs> Uh, yep. It's weird, like, ever since I came out, I felt like I, like, regressed age-wise and then just started and just grew up again correctly this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's, that's the... Uh, oh, before people like... thought I used to be older. Yeah, it's it, like, I, I haven't gone outside, so I don't know how old people would think I am now. And yeah, yeah, why? It's like, when I first met you, I was just like, yes, this person is the same age as me. <laughs> oh, and you was 30, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I... I was surprised. You're older. God, I remember someone aged me, like, older than I was once, and I got, like... This is gonna sound weird, but I got- I actually got dysphoria from that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's- that's probably- that's probably thinking... one reason why people wouldn't, uh, think of a younger but... Oh, beards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I mean, your- your- your whole thing makes sense, like... Mm -hmm. Societal I mean, like expectations with women and age is weird, so of course, like when that comes up for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never got a haircut once in high school, and they're like, "You look so much older," and I'm just like, "I'm gonna wear a beanie for the rest of my life," <laughs> <laughs> or at least until it grows back. Oh God! Uh... Yeah, so oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, like, that, that does sound Jeez. weird, and yeah, I do hope that they were, like, mm. respectful about it, just the whole, like, how old are you? It's like, oh, I'm, I'm 15, it's like, okay, goodbye. That has happened to me a few times at cons, actually, although I think they knew my age. <laughs> yep, it's the fucking Hassan clip. <laughs> Because, uh, at cons, they used to dress up as, uh, Alucard, and I always did a very femme take on him, obviously. <laughs> and, yeah, people were just, like... Uh, I got, like, euphoria and also a lot of discomfort from it. Thankfully, the cons are, like, they're not... Like, the cons have gotten much safer, but they weren't always as safe as they are now. I mean, they're not currently safe, but that's just because of the biological agent involved. Oh, yes. Oh, God, yeah. No, like... Some people have gotten super disillusioned with cons, and I totally get it. <laughs> like, I, I would honestly feel a lot safer to cosplaying a saber than being there. Yeah. Oh, uh, and through the internet does... That does make sense, because, like... I assume because of the way they acted on the internet. Being different. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> oh. oh yep Jeez. that yep that's about right that's about mm. right <laughs> that's yep. that's creepy to screw people for you yep we that's part of maintaining a safe environment on this server too yeesh fucked oh jeez oh god wow Uh, oh, yeah. fucking. Why are there so many creeps out there? Oh, I have the answer to that. <laughs> that is the best sound for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I've gotta, I've gotta see how well that even comes through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. 
I'm like both terrified and excited to go to cons again. Yep. <laughs> if I can get the oh. money together, haha. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much money. Society. God, I need to play Guilty Gear. Strive. I'm a sad face. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, anyway, cons are like. Uh... Where I kind of was able to experiment a bit with my gender presentation for the first time. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to are actually depressing. the one place I wasn't super anxious. I mean, I was still anxious, but less so. Oof. Yeah. That does suck. Fucking... Oh, Especially God. at night. Yeah. Like, there's just something about that that makes it even skeezier than during the day. That has been... And the answer seen is... that exact situation, yeah. Limited visibility. Mmm. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was, like, that sh the fact that, like, I was able to pull that small bit of positivity from such a negative experience should have spoken volumes about things back then. Yeah, but no, you were, as you told me when we first met about those experience, those experiences, you know, when you were really excited to me, tell me of times when you were quote-unquote mistaken for a girl. <laughs> you were totally just really excited about, uh, Pulling those people away from other people who would be more affected. <laughs> totally. That was literally what I said, yes. Oh god, out of Shinji's mouth. <sighs> but yeah, definitely throw them uh, away. Yeah. Like, the annoying thing with me is my non-confrontationalism. Although I think it, I think it's yeah. more than non-confrontationalism because that that's like a thing that a lot of people have. For me, it's like I literally can't. Yeah, yeah. It's a genuine problem trying to work on. Uh Yeah, as far as I know. Entertaining typo. You know, as far as I know, I've never actually been hit on other than when I was a kid, and then it was like the joking way like, oh big strong man, kinda like that. Because oh. I had a habit of like holding doors open for people. Apparently. Because I I've... relate to Shiro. Every trans person has this, or a lot of us have this experience where, like, our, like, relatives will just give, like, super gendered compliments, and I'm just like, ah, please, just, I, like, whenever I lift something, they're like, oh, you're such a big, strong man, and I'm like, I wish this object was heavier so it could crush me right now. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't bother me, because, I mean, at any given point, it's, like, 30 to 70 percent right. Oh, you should... The, well, Except about me being strong, I'm. A... <laughs> I can't. I can't lift things, when it's just straight forward force, like the muscles have built up punching. I can do that. That's strong. I gotta lift something. I'm fucked. Mm. Yeah, for me, like, I can tell when I should feel anger, but there's just a void there. Yeah. God, gendered compliments for like the bane of my childhood are one of them. Like it's it doesn't sound that bad if you're not trans, but <laughs> like it is legitimately soul crushing. Oh. Oh, 
god. And yeah, I mean, obviously you had, like, repress a ton of how- just how shit it was, too. Oh god, yeah, boy. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, like, saying, like, good gender is, like, always a little bit, like, condescending. If there's not, like, enough to offset it in, like, a very specific sense, like, because that's generally, like, the stuff that you say to five-year-olds. Like, it's just kind of inherently, like, mm -hmm. it is kind of inherently condescending. So, like, it's just... Unless, like, you're in a very small list of scenarios. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh. You know what? That's why Sad <sighs> Family is such a great cherub and why we all like it so much. Yeah. Is so the blood really of the matters. covenant is thicker than the water of the womb? I've had my family misuse is. that saying so much. Blood is thicker than water means that those you choose matter more than those you're born with. I'm just like, yeah, no, uh, you're you're right, but not in the way that you think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I mean... That's definitely how it used to be for me. Yeah, yeah, like... Everyone's got their things. Yeah. God, I used to be so hard to, like, things consistently keep contact with. I'm still not great about it, to be honest, and I, f I still feel pretty guilty. About just generally not being good with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I have friends that I still consider very good friends that I have not actually talked to in months. <laughs> yeah, it kind of keeps Miss you them. involved. But yeah, like, whenever I'm, I'm not DMing for them, like, mm -hmm. things kind of distance. But yeah, like, when you're, when you're doing things with people, it's, it's very hard. And yeah, like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my but god. Yeah, like. Cut one with the dice. But yeah, no. I it's... go through different periods of like being the person who texts first and then like intentionally being the person who texts first a lot and then running out of energy. And then, like, because all of my friends are also, like, fucking, uh... They're like us, nervous, so socially awkward wrecks like me, <laughs> they don't text first. And then my brain's like, they all hate you. And it's like, I mean, with uh -huh. these people, they're probably just being awkward. I always, yeah, no, I always, oh, God, like, yeah. feel super guilty for not texting back. Oh, they probably hate me because they didn't text back. Which is why I like to put out that, like, if someone doesn't text me back for a long time, I'll never hold it against them, ever. Yep. Because I completely get it. Yeah, yeah. I do the same thing. A lot of us do. And yeah. Yeah, antimatter. Like, I definitely also get that. Like, I've got- apparently that's a fucking ADHD thing. You just <laughs> don't talk for months and you pick up exactly where you left off. Yep. It's just... Yeah. No, like, you can text me, like, for... Like, after not responding for, like, five or six years, and I'm just like, oh, hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. Ah. Uh, rough. Mm. Sometimes, like, that, that happens sometimes. But, like... 
Yeah. God, like, the, the trick is you have to do some, like, common activity. Like, for me, it's, I, I run D&D &D for people, and that's how I stay in contact with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need some sort of common activity. Uh, yeah. No, even yeah, though I never yeah, hold, like I never hold anything like, against someone like that, I still okay. get nervous about it. That's a thing. I'm sure that I have ADHD, but I don't technically have a diagnosis. I've just seen too many. I've just had that exact experience realism that like the what's the fucking meme? All these ADH people that. On online, better stop being so relatable, or else I need to go see a doctor. God, the thing about texting is, I actually just don't like texting uh, yeah. at all. Like, I, I like voice chat because obviously my brain will try and pull like things from the messages that aren't there. <laughs> yeah, and then and also I'm, my brain. I'm so like... worried that other people will do that with my messages, and it might accidentally say something that hurts them or makes them feel bad. And I'm just always so nervous about that. So I end up taking so long to write out such a simple message, and then I just end up not doing it at all because. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a fucking... That is that's a cool. fucking mood realism. Yeah, that is the cool realism. Oh, but, yeah. And, yeah, the fucking, like, yeah, texting games, as you, as you described it wise, like... That... Always, like, fucking... Oh, I hate it. I hate that so much. Not that I've ever really had to deal with that, with, like, dating, but fucking... Because, you know, I never left my house. Texting is just... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, like... I love it. I mean, yeah. I do I like don't doing it. At all. I know, right? Especially from, like, neurotypical people. Because, uh, like, you see, I don't, I don't have the code that they have or whatever, so, like, I'll often just miss things in text that I would have picked up on in voice. Because I, re I rely a lot on voice tone. Yup, yup, like... That's why I try and use emojis to spice my, uh, texting up. To make the meaning more clear. Yeah, like, just, like I... like, this line with this emotion. Because if you read it this I way, it could be negative. I mean, for me at least, because of my insane aversion to emojis. So often. Which I'm trying to break. Because, like, those and tone indicators, yeah, like... Uh, but yeah, like, I, I end up being way too long with, like, clarifying tone on things and just drop walls of text on people. Mm -hmm. God, yeah, it always becomes a wall of text because I need to clarify each word and each thing to make sure I don't end up, like, saying the wrong thing or... Uh, it's Texting is very exhausting. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how people do it so like, much. Hundred percent, no important conversations for me happen over text. It's actually if I have it's... It's like incredibly important conversation that I care about, I'm gonna get like voice. It's honestly probably the reason, the real reason why I don't read the YouTube comments as much as I could should. I really want to try and start responding to them, but they take a long time for me to respond to. Because I put way too much thought into it. <laughs> I'm doing this for 35 oh, yeah, minutes! 30 minutes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, about... we got into the... I guess it's because <laughs> yeah, plot AJ's... came up. Plot came up. And, and we've been sitting on the shrine music for this long, and that just always, like... Yeah, for some reason it kind of does. Uh... <laughs> Uh, 
Oh. Oh, the, pro oh, the biggest yeah, problem yeah, for me is like matter. sarcasm in texts. Yeah, and yeah. I live with like, like a few people who are sarcastic a lot, but their tone of voice never really changes, so it doesn't sound very sarcastic oh, to me sometimes. Oh, really? Jeez. Ah, uh, fucking. I like mm. getting mail, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely it for me. Yeah. I had to yep, train like... myself so much to pick up sarcasm as much as I can. Uh, that, and I lived with someone who literally, apparently has been told, and it, it, he does, that he always sounds sarcastic <laughs> for many years of my life. And he would also be sarcastic sometimes, and like... But that's a whole... that's a whole bag of worms. Rest yeah. sarcastic voice. And also no worries, worries. Like... <laughs> <laughs> we always uh, yeah, about yeah, what yeah. Ourselves yeah. Saying. Like, I'm also pushing a lot of stuff back, just because I think it would be kind of rude for me to put it out there. I don't know. Yeah, like, I'm I'm generally an open person. I won't uh, open too much on, like, some things, but, like... <laughs> Buy our shit! Aw, oh, Twitch ads. But, yeah. What was the ad for it for you? <laughs> yeah, what was the ad for? I'm curious, because I want to know how, uh... Tone deaf it would be. <laughs> Oh, whatever the fucking one that was just open with, like, loud conversations about gaming. Mm, <laughs> shoes. Oh, yeah, spider in the common area. Gaming. <laughs> but yeah, we share as much of ourselves as we're comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, fucking... Mm -hmm. God, I... Yeah, like, I've said, like, as I said earlier in this talk, as I said before, like, I only really existed for the last, like... couple no. of years. Like, a lot of that's just I never wanted to be genuine, because I didn't feel like I had anything, and I didn't like myself. Also, like, another thing is... Like, it really depends with the friends you have as well. Like, if you have to pretend to be someone else to be friends with people, then you can't really ever be genuine with them, because... Well. Yeah, yeah. I don't worry, Wise. You'll come to life one of these days, probably, maybe. Mm -hmm. You just need the right... Environment? Stimuli. Right stimuli. <laughs> and even if you don't, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, that's, I, it's, like, that's one of the fucking reasons why I fucking loved UVW so much. And why I, I, I stuck onto the Faker theme so much. Yeah, it's same. because of that, because of my non-existence phase, because that's what I felt like. Like, I was faking things, and, like, the fact that it's not bad to fake things was really important for me in that time, because, like... It made me not hate the existence I was eking out as much. I was there as well when we, uh, we read UBW. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you gotta find the like, God a realism. Friends. <laughs> to just be a balanced person all the time. What? What is this? I don't believe you. Oh, uh, like eventually you're like, like the big part is like when you realize and 
or you realize that you're faking things. Because for a while I didn't even really know because it was so natural to fake things to fit in with society. Yep. Like, I, I never like, felt more than... I a hollow shell of a person around myself and that just cracked as soon as it was, uh, like it was unsustainable. It couldn't hold itself together forever. And the moment I was in a safe environment, it just fell to pieces. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's always fucking walking a tightrope. Oh god, like... yeah, anti-matter does. <laughs> Somebody? Oh. I think that's where a lot of the yeah, health anxiety I'm... comes from. I'm just like, wait. Yeah. I'm kind of happy now. Something has to ruin it. Oh yeah, no, I definitely get that. Well, on the YouTube Fucking video, what? I'm labeling this section Real Talk. Yeah. Oh, God. Yep. yep. <laughs> oh. Go, yeah, go fucking yeah. do that for us. Don't, that. Uh, don't fuck up your academic professor? career. Your academic life. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot. It was a lot to accept, like, everything that being true to myself would entail, but... Mm, okay, no worries. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh wow, grad school, that's cool. Uh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's the truth of it, right? And that's one of the reasons why the fucking, like... That's all it ever That's one of the other reasons that Shearer was so fucking relatable. Was, like, describing himself as being dead, and then, like, ten- or... Like, de describing something explicit about himself, and then ten minutes later being like, But I know that's not really true. Like, that we whole thing, these, yeah. all these metaphors for ourselves. Hell, and I only so fucking, like... When I talk about metaphors, it's neurotypical people. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah. That is so fucking weird. Because they're like, wait, what? And I'm like, oh, I'm so used to people understanding. <laughs> Wait, so you, it doesn't mean anything to you when I describe how I uh, imagined, like, basically that fucking scene from Naruto where the fucking, uh, what's it called? Chibaku Tensei covering up, uh, whole parts of me? That that doesn't, like, evoke any reaction from you? Uh, I don't want to oh, I shouldn't have opened up to you. <laughs> I don't want to talk about some of the older metaphors, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, but Very yeah. But yeah. Everyone reacts differently, and no reaction is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Like... Oof. Mm. That can be very scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like, entirely up to you whether or not to, like, open up, and if you don't want to, yeah, it's, uh, entirely relatable. Also, oof. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah, fucking. So... I've... Like, I, I, I say I existed two years ago, I existed for, like, a few months, and then I stopped existing for a few months, and then I unburied myself again. Like, there are definitely times to, times to stay buried. Defense mechanisms exist for a reason. They got something to, they usually have something to defend against. But yeah, actually...
Ah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'd probably want yeah, to yeah. Put some things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which, yeah, that really fucking sucks. I'm sorry. And, like, yeah. to just be fucking... <laughs> What's the fucking word? Like... Yep, there's the shot thing. down on that. Yeah. Dismissed. That's the just. fucking word. <sighs> God, there's... There's so many people, and this is like a really important thing that I just want to say in general. So many people discount friendships and relationships because they're online, but they there's no difference. They're just as real. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's such like bullshit. They're just as real, of... and for me, they're more real. Because I meet the people that I want to talk to, not just who's around me. Yep, like, literally, there's no fucking difference between, like, sound waves coming out of your mouth, tickling someone else's eardrums, and sound waves that get transformed into fucking, like, electronic signals being sent over the fucking internet, and then reinterpreted as sound waves again. Like, it's literally... We're all just communicating with one another through, like, pushing other objects into each other to begin with. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Yeah. Unsupportive families. Especially, like, people who claim to be, like, super supportive that aren't. Like, that shit's... That shit's fucked. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> yeah. yeah. It's gaslighting. <laughs> Luckily, I've uh, never had to deal with that. I've just never had my father directly ask about my problems, and I've actually always taken the initiative with opening up to my mom. Huh. Seems kind of... I'm just good at fake opening up. Yup, yup. So good that I fooled myself for, and all, the many, all my therapists for so many years about it. <sighs> like, mm -hmm. I fucking... I'll open up completely. Uh, yeah, as far as I, I just don't get that. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I don't get it either. Yeah. I, I guess maybe it's uh, I mean, maybe it's not like as close to the, the people online as you are. Yeah. Although, like... I mean, I guess this is a weird story. I never thought I'd ever have a chance to tell it, but like, there was a random person I like text chatted with in Minecraft. Like, we were just using the Minecraft text chat. And she felt like a more of a genuine friend than any of my real life friends at the time. Still wonder what happened to her. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and, no, voice yeah, calls yeah. are the big uh Yeah. Like, yeah, I I get that. I get that much. But even Like text if it's only text, it can be harder stuff. You could still probably call someone that I only text online with a friend. But like it's definitely having that like rate of communication increase that comes from voice uh voice communication yeah like yeah. it's about how much you open up about how much you know about each other exactly ah <sighs> 
Honestly, the fact that that Minecraft friendship was so... real compared to everything else is more just a testament to how unreal everything else was. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, like... Panic attack, calm down. You gotta, you gotta feel like someone's, someone's there with you. Yeah, as someone that's just easier. The used to get panic more attacks information. a lot more. Yeah, I mean, I still get them. I'm just good at avoiding the triggers now. So, that's the goal, though, and that's uh, why there's not really much of a difference. The fact that, like, often the drive is there to meet them, it's just distance separating and such. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah, like, I've I've met some online friends that I talk with a lot, who were only, like, one state over, and it was exactly, like, it... The friendship just translated perfectly. There was not that much difference between, like, being online or offline. And that's what like convinced me that like yeah okay if they're if they're friends they're friends they can just be online just... or offline but like Aru and I still haven't met in person. <laughs> yeah, like there's not really that much of a difference from the voice and the bone meat mech attached to the voice. <laughs> oh <God>. wow! <laughs> wow. Oh god, video calls the premiere like yeah, yeah, yeah. the worst, <laughs> but that that makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh. For me, webcams Wait. are like a non starter. I don't mind seeing other people on webcams, they just VTubers are honestly a godsend, yeah. like I will literally do video calls with my VTuber if society let me. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, fucking wise god, I, I get that from like... Mm. Before? Like at this point, I'm actually doing fine. But like, before? Yeah, I like, I, I wasn't, but I never got to fucking say that because then people would get like way too worried. And it's like, that that's just here. going to not fucking help right now. I don't want to worry anyone. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> just living is... a state you can remain in. Hope you reach fine eventually. Yep. Well put, well put. Oh god, that is the problem. That is the oh. problem. Shit, is that... I just made that... That makes no sense. <laughs> That's a mood. That is a mood. Uh, yep. God, that, awesome. that makes... So much sense. Like... Everyone here is how much we talk over each other. This is just a voice call on stream. No video to speak of. Plus we have RTX voice and voice meter. <laughs> You're not so good. Okay, shitty internet. It's horrifying to be frank. Hmm. Wow, we've had real talk for almost an hour now. Or an hour. Yeah. I don't know why, the music kind of brings it out, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, no, I hate interrupting people. I prefer to get talked over than... Yeah. Talk over people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it also hurts when two people are similar enough that they will generally, like, work on the same rhythm of being, like, this is the right amount of silence before, uh, I speak up again. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's fine. Like, I never feel, like, I don't mind getting talked over unless I have been in a call where I haven't been able to speak for three hours, but that's just because there were, like, a bunch of people in there. I don't like big Discord calls. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And, like, I used to be... I used to have huge problems with getting, like, interrupted, so I made fucking sure that if I ever, like, that I do it as little as possible, and that when I do it, I give the, like, conversational ribbon back to the person as quickly as I fucking can. And I still fuck up about it, but, like... I know, yeah. logically, I shouldn't but, feel as sorry as I do, but it's not the way I am. Uh, it yeah. is very awkward, though. Yeah. At this point, I don't mind being interrupted as much anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, for me, it only, like, really is the problem if, like, I literally can't talk for, like, three hours. That only happened once, though, and it's like a 12-person Discord call that's kind of not really a sustainable call. Yeah, I yeah. think, like, seven people is the most. Seven people might even, even then be pushing a lot it. Like, for me. Kind of so, for me, like, I feel like five people is the limit. Or for free conversation. Honestly, for activities like D&D, &D, yeah, it's yeah. a little better because there's structure to who speaks and when. But when it's just free yeah, conversation, yeah, that's yeah. really hard to do. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, no yeah, yeah. And, yeah. We went... Yeah, this kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I have to get up at 8. <laughs> we should probably... Yep. We should probably, uh, yeah. No, 7 a.m. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Bow. Bow. Strong hands. <laughs> they don't show feet during gameplay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, the feet, real talk. But, yeah, yeah. Is this what... I think it might be big enough to have a wiki as so that what these are just going to be called now. Little feet, real tops. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> yup! <laughs> the feet, real talk. But, of yeah, course. yeah, yeah. No, And like, to see Antimatter. Also, yeah, see Antimatter, have a, matter, have a good night. Also, I think I, like... Something about this music is just gonna link me into the real talk mood from now on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Either that or the word feet. <laughs> yeah, so, so this event will forever be known as the feet real talk. I'll mark it as such in the fun. <laughs> yeah. Also, if there's uh, like anything anyone is said that they don't want in the VOD, just let me know. Yep, just, uh, just DM it, and then, uh, mm -hmm. can run it through editing before then. Mm -hmm. Yep, just... Cool, cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why these, the Emma's are here, <laughs> are here, for those starving to collect more drawing material. Capture, capture! Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Just want to make sure. Yep. Because yep. I know us displaying chat is a very new thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Alright, let's get that Omakoji. Oh. Mm hmm. I. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mark I'm it. I'm so sleepy for many reasons. <laughs> yep. Oh, from heaven to hell? <laughs> Construction. Research is important. School. Accepted. Have a good night, wise. Good sleep. Barely good luck. Barely good luck. We will. I've, <laughs> yeah. I've got, like, some doctor's appointments to figure some th things out, which is why I'm really glad that there's no, like, health-related stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Oh my god, Omicron. But yeah. Yep, and have a good day, See guys. See everybody headed out now. you are Australian. Yeah.
And also, to everybody you here. This cool. Oh, Pars, that's good news yep. for you. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna get excited? Tomorrow's the scene. scene. But everybody watching live, Tosaka chatting scene. or lurking. Yes, thank you. Real so much talking for or real talking or if you bailed when we got to the Emmas. <laughs> the clocks. <laughs> You're gonna get hit in the head by another clock. I, every time I go in that bathroom and look at that bathroom. clock, I look at it. I, I, <laughs> it's watching. It's waiting for another opportunity. <sighs> VOD people, YouTube people, like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you so much for yeah, uh, yeah. for popping along. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks everyone for participating in the real talk, just watching, just existing. Thank you for everything. This has been the Cule. Good night Let's and good talkers. like, Platalkers and Platalkra. Platalkers and Platalkra. Oh no, I don't want to flee my flash person, but I have to. <laughs> Alright, I should have looked at who you're going to read it first. <laughs> Classic read. <laughs> Distortion Devil. Oh wow, a lot of people stayed for the real talk. <laughs> yeah. Plitalkers. Plitalkers Plitalkers and good night. Seven. And good day. Bye. Good week. Good month. Good, good year. Good lives. Good eternity. And That's how long this VOD... Well, not the VOD, but the YouTube video will be up. Thanks, everybody Stop watching jumping. along there. Also, what? Oh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> and as is a uh, classic with uh, my true sign off that's hidden, you will.